Hey, what's up everybody? I figured I'd make this video real quick for everybody who doesn't know exactly what oil filter to buy for their ZS190. As you can see, here is the Honda part number that you're going to need. So if you'd like to go ahead and write that down, save it, whatever, you know, now at least you have it. You know, otherwise nobody really stocks a filter for this thing. You know, so you can't just go anywhere and get a filter. You kind of got to know what to look for. But essentially, the oil filter that it fits would be a 87 and 88 Honda TRX125 and a Honda Dream all share the same oil filter as well as the 190 and a Grom with a Kotaco clutch cover all the same filter as you can see that's what they look like they're super small you know you look at the pictures and they look so much bigger but they're they're tiny <laughs> give you a little size reference there are two fingers but I just wanted to make this quick video so that way everybody be able to you know go to their local Honda dealer and grab a filter I paid like seven dollars and some change and while I was there I picked up some 1040 GN4 oil for their uh, you know <clears throat> Honda motorcycles and stuff but it's cheaper if you go to the Honda dealer and buy it it's only 18 bucks for a gallon which is four quarts or if you go on Amazon it's like twenty six dollars and some change you know, so you're better off going to your local Honda dealer for that. That's for sure. But I just want to share with this with everybody. That way, everybody knows now. <laughs> but in the next video, I'll be showing you guys my exhaust. I don't want to show it to you right now because I got oil filter out, obviously. Doing a second oil change on it. And everything's looking good now. You know, the first one I got a lot of chunks and stuff out of. This one here looks a whole lot better. You know, no no chunks like I had the first time. Just minor minor shavings, you know, the the usual stuff that you expect when actually, you know, really fully breaking in one of these. And right now I have let's see here. 423 miles. But 50 of that is on your OEM motor. But I've taken it on a real long trip. I did a 123 mile trip with it. Uh, did really good. You know, no complaints at all. Kept 60 miles an hour. Not, not a struggle. Went up a lot of steep hills and stuff. Worked out great. But uh, no complaints in that department. And another thing too, I am going to put the oil cooler on mine. I haven't done it yet because I wanted to get it fully broke in. So that way I'm not sending junk through my new oil cooler. You know, and possibly having those particles get stuck in the cooler and all that stuff. So, seemed like the, the better way to go, to be honest. <clears throat> but, I do plan on getting a GoPro. Hopefully soon, we'll see. You know, so if anybody out there might have a Hero 7 Black... That they want to get rid of you go ahead and give me a ring let me know you know leave a message in the comments but uh until next time i'll probably uh make a video with the exhaust all completed and done i'll probably put that up tomorrow maybe even later today i don't know maybe not today because it's pretty crappy it's uh dark gray skies and it looks like we're gonna have rain all day so you know nice cool 70 degrees though so that's a plus but, until next time, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.